esters, making esters and types of analysis. Esters are a family of organic chemicals with the functional group COO. They are formed by alkaloids plus carboxylic acids. They need a strong acid catalyst to start the reaction. They are used for perfumes as they are volatile, flavourings and aromas, solvents and plasticizers. Fats and oils are esters of glycerol and fatty acids. They can be saturated CC or unsaturated C double C. Animal fats are mainly saturated and usually solid at room temperature whereas vegetable oils are mainly unsaturated and usually liquid at room temperature. Making esters. Stage 1. Refluxing. This is when you react the ethanol and ethanoic acid with a catalyst, like sulfuric acid. Gently heat the mixture in the flask, fitted with a condenser. Stage 2. Distillation. This separates the ester from the byproducts. The solutions heated below a fractionating column. The vapour travels up the column, ethyl ethanoate flows through the condenser and is collected. Stage 3 Purification It's poured into a tap funnel, shaken with sodium carbonate solution, which removes the acidic impurities and is tapped off. It's then shaken with concentrated calcium chloride solution to remove ethanol. 4 Drying the water is removed by shaking the solution with anhydrous calcium chloride and then filtration. Analytical procedures. There are two types of analysis. Qualitative analysis, which tells you which substances are present in the sample, and quantitative analysis, which tells you how much of a substance is present in the sample. Standard procedures are followed when testing samples, which are agreed methods of working. Solution concentrations. Concentration equals mass over volume. Standard solutions have known concentrations. How to make a standard solution? Seven. Stop at the bottle, turn upside down a few times to make sure it's dissolved. 8. Check the momiscus again and add more water if needed. The last section is all about chromatography. Chromatography is a method used to separate substances in a mixture, then identify substances. It uses two phases, the stationary phase, where molecules can't move, solid or thick liquid, and the mobile phase where molecules can move, which is a liquid or a gas. Components in the mixture separate out as the mobile phase moves across the stationary phase. One method is paper chromatography. The solvent moves up the paper. The chemicals in the sample dissolve in solvent, move between it and the paper. When they're in mobile phase, chemicals move up the paper with the solvent. Before the solvent reaches the top of the paper, it's removed from the beaker. Different chemicals in sample form separate spots on paper. There's also thin layer chromatography, or TLC. It's very similar to paper chromatography. The mobile phase is a solvent such as ethanol, just like paper chromatography, but the stationary phase is a thin layer of solid, such as silica gel on a glass plate. There's also gas chromatography. The mobile phase is an unreactive gas like nitrogen, and the stationary phase is a viscous liquid like oil. The method 1. Mixture is injected into a long tube coated on the inside with the stationary phase. 2. The mixture moves along the tube with mobile phase until it comes out at the other end. 3. The time it takes a chemical to travel through is called retention time. 4. Retention time differs for each chemical and is used to identify it. You draw a graph for this. The distance along the x-axis on the graph is the retention time, which is used to identify it, and the distance up, the peak height, shows how much of that chemical was in the sample.